If you're a UK collector just starting out, this video is for you. I've compiled a list of my top five indie stores that ship the latest releases straight to your door. I feel confident recommending these independent retailers as I've ordered from all of them and had good experiences with all of them. Apart from the final one, which I've added as a cautionary tale. As I go along, I'll point out the particular strengths and focuses of each one as I see them in order to give you an idea of which one might be stocking the type of thing you're looking for. So without further ado, let's start. First up is Kapow Toys. I first came across this retailer when I was looking for Hasbro's reissues of G1 Transformers and I was playing catch up with this particular line. I've talked about that in my recent Transformers video. I'll link that one above. The range of stuff they offer is massive and there are lots of items on each page cutting down on the amount of clicking you need to do to get a sense of what's on offer. When it comes to the categories, these are extremely specific. Using Transformers again as an example, each subline has its own category, Combiner Wars, G1, Masterpiece, whatever your specific focus may be, they do a great job of making them easy to find. Transformers is definitely a focus for Kapow and they stock many of the third party products like Fans, Toys and Iron Factory. But don't overlook the other lines that they carry. Also, whenever something new is announced from one of the major toy companies, Kapow usually has it, along with high-end lines from the likes of Storm Collectibles and Hot Toys also. My next pick is Star Action Figures, the very first online retailer I came across once I started collecting, since I was initially looking for vintage collection Star Wars and Black Series. As you might expect by the name Star Action Figures, this is definitely a focus for that shop. They always have the latest Star Wars offerings from Hasbro and often offer cases of new waves, but you have to be quick because those sell out fast. They're also very good for Marvel and DC. The other categories are more eclectic, with uh, James Bond and Karate Kid having categories of their own, with some curious omissions. They don't stock much Motu Origins, for instance, an important one for me. Another video recommendation up above. But they are really, really good for anyone interested in the reaction range from Super 7. They seem to have everything from that line, even the really obscure ones like Johnny Cash and the Bionic Woman. This is a category that I'm tempted by every time I visit Star Action Figures. I don't know how I've managed to resist temptation thus far. <laughs> All of the stores I'm mentioning have a social media presence with Facebook generally being the best place to follow them for the latest updates. But Star Action Figures also has a blog that they started once they did the site upgrade recently, which is a very interesting look behind the scenes with international shipping being the constant bane of these indie retailers, I get the feeling. Social media is a nice segue into my next pick, In Demand Toys, who are always particularly frank on Facebook about the dubious and sometimes incompetent competent practices of some of the big toy manufacturers. The store was recently featured on an episode of the Leicester Vintage and Old Toy Shop. They do a shop tour and they visited In Demand Toys episode 7 for anyone interested. I will link that above and in the description. In Demand has been around a long time and they are a staple of various toy shows around the UK. In terms of online shopping, In Demand is straightforward and easy to navigate with everything laid out, categorised nicely. One of the things I like the most about In demand is that if an item goes out of stock but there is a reasonable chance that it's going to come back in stock they give you the option to put your name down to be notified via email when it comes back in and this it's not that unusual other retailers do do this but in demand tends to only have things that are kind of going to come back in stock listed as out of stock it can be a bit frustrating on other sites when things are just out of stock and but still listed and there's no email option or anything like that Anyway, through In Demand's email feature, I was able to get notified when Soundwave's cassettes came back in stock and I was also able to snag Starscream. They always seem to have a sale going on with items that you can pick up for cheap. In Demand Toys is probably the first site I visit when I sit down to surf for stuff. If there's new stuff coming, I always check them. Next up is Comics and Cocktails. I don't know how I didn't come across this site early. It's a recent one for me, but they have a strong social media presence. They're a, a well-known online retailer. Unlike In Demand Toys, Comics and Cocktails online persona seems to be a bit less grumpy perhaps, more like an overexcited teenager when they get a new item in stock. They seem to list items for pre-order far sooner than any of the other retailers. To my knowledge, they're the only ones with pre-orders for Playmates reissued Turtles up at the moment. But this doesn't necessarily mean they have an inroad, the others don't. It probably just means they've decided pre-orders the wave of the future, we're going to list this stuff early. 
They stock a lot of the collector lines as well as standards like Marvel and Star Wars and I've been able to find several of the harder to get Motu Origins figures from them after the other stores I've mentioned earlier sold out. Baking a narrative out of pure speculation for myself, I'm wondering if Comics and Cocktails slightly chunky site might be the reason why some items are still in stock when others aren't. It's actually a bit of a pain to drill down through the various categories with few items listed per page and sometimes brand icons on a page that you have to click through before you get to what you actually want. It's perhaps the least slick site in my opinion. It looks good, but it's a little hard to navigate, but I can't fault the service. Everything I've ordered from them has been reasonably priced, packaged well, delivered in a timely fashion. The same can't be said for all sites online though. My final pick is a little bit of a downer. We've got to be honest when we have a bad experience. I like Forbidden Planet. I like going into their stores. They're a big retailer in the UK. This is perhaps why there's a bit of a lack of care when they're sending items through the mail. Less of that personal touch and maybe things get banged around a little bit. The last time I ordered something from them, the item took two months to arrive. I suspect they didn't even have it in stock, although it was listed as such on the web. Website. and when it did arrive the box was torn which is a big deal for a box collector like myself obviously the time before that i ordered a black series chewbacca and was sent a plushy chewy instead i'd be interested to hear if anyone else has experienced that with forbidden planet or those two instances are just complete flukes and i had i was just unlucky so that's it those are my picks for collectors in the uk if you have stores that you particularly would like to vouch for please put that in the comments below Help your fellow collectors out. I've been up yet and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.